I've already uploaded a few furnace uh, and AC repair videos. So this is just going to be a quick recap of how to test a capacitor, make sure that this isn't the problem. If your blower motor, this is the one that pushes the air through the whole house, whether you're running your AC or your furnace. If this isn't working right, maybe if you're lucky, it's just a capacitor. So we're going to test this with a uh, multimeter here. What this part does, and it might be mounted to a different part of your uh, housing here. What this does is this kick starts the motor from a dead stop. So it's hard for this motor to take this much uh, torque from this weighted wheel and everything. So this has some juice to throw at it, help it get spinning. And when this goes bad, it can make the motor have weird noises and stuff like that. So there are two connections here. You see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. These are all the same. It's all one piece of metal, all one piece of metal. Okay. So just two. So when you're testing it, just know that don't get confused. And when you're hooking them up, you're not going to put one here and one here. You're going to put one on this side, one on this side. Okay. Um, and all of the information is fading. These can usually be hard to read. Okay. Can you see this right there? 12.5 UF, 12 and a half microfarads, and it has a plus slash minus 10%. So that means um, give or take 10%. So your reading should be 12 and a half on here, give or take 10%, and that would be a good one. And then it says this other number is really important when you're ordering 370 volts AC, VAC. So the new one that I would need for this needs to be 12 and a half. UF or microfarads and I'm going to type in also if I'm searching online 370 VAC and that would give me matching capacitors okay all right so I have my multimeter here and this is kind of a nice one it measures capacitance and that is right here see that symbol that's showing capacitance so these take a little while. You can't just touch the leads to it and get a good reading right away. It has to kind of charge it up. So you can see, let's get it connected there. These terminals are uh, kind of rusty and nasty. All right, see that's reading right there, 11.13. Well, that's pretty close. That shouldn't give this motor much trouble. So. Uh, a good one is 12 and a half, so this is just under 10% difference. So this is within range, so this isn't the problem. So let's uh, plug this all back in, hook this up, and we will listen to what a bad motor sounds like so you know what you're dealing with, okay? on yours and I hope you get yours fixed. When these things go out, it's never at a convenient time, is it? So I took, you know, you have your green ground and that's here, we're gonna leave that. These two wires run up to the capacitor. You have all these other wires. You have your white neutral wire and your black one. And this is usually like the, the high speed, if I remember correctly. And, uh, and then you have different speeds, okay? So there's gonna be different resistance, but we're not gonna get into that. All I'm going to do is I have this plugged into, I wired it up to a regular plug. Unfortunately, there's no ground, but this should be okay just to test it. So I hooked the white to white and the black to black. We're going to plug this in. And you're going to hear the lovely sound of a bad motor. Watch this. Hear that? It usually didn't even spin this much. Let's try it again. Yeah, that, that's normal. Listen to that. That's what you get. And it'll not get better. It's going to get worse. So get a new motor. I have other videos that show how to 
um, test capacitors. Um, it's an AC capacitor, but it's the same principles. More information on that if you want to know more information on these. I'll put the link up right now. And also how to replace your blower motor, how to oil a blower, a blower motor. Very important. I got all kinds of videos on this stuff. Hopefully this has helped you. If so, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and you'll get alerted if you click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. YouTube has changed and subscribing really doesn't mean anything anymore. You need to click that little bell. Uh, if you want to support this channel, I have some contact info in the video description. Good luck, guys. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Don't be frustrated. You can do this. This is pretty simple. You just have your motor and this Kickstarter here, which is, you know, usually you get replacements for less than 10 bucks. If you replace your motor, also replace this. It's a good idea. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye.